This is the fastest method you can take during the Cayo Perico heist, as updated in September of 2023. The first thing you need to do is approach the island with the long fin boat. Then you need to drive over to the airstrip where you can steal your secondary loot. I chose the long fin boat because it is the fastest way to travel from the airstrip to the compound drainage tunnel. It's easier to travel by water than it is to go through the entire island that is filled with guards. I wanted to do a September 2023 version of this heist just in case Rockstar made any changes to the guards and their specific routes or detection limits. From what I could tell so far, everything is the same as usual. So you can just follow this method, or the same method you've been using, and you should have no problems completing this heist in complete stealth and in solo mode for the Elite Challenge. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more GTA content. Also, let me know in the comments below if you know of a faster method to do this heist, or what approach vehicle you want me to use in my next tutorial video. I would be more than happy to test out every way possible to complete this heist for the Elite Challenge. Now that I collected my secondary loot, I need to head back to my long fin boat and make my way over to the drainage tunnel. I got nervous for a second, because I thought my boat was stuck on the shore. But thankfully, it wasn't stuck and I was able to get away with no issues. But for you guys I would suggest that you park your boat a little further away from the shoreline to avoid this problem and have some peace of mind. I'm going to fast forward through all of this nonsense with the drainage tunnel so you guys can follow along with what's really important. The route you need to take from inside of the compound. Just make sure to follow my exact route, and you will definitely be able to finish the heist with the Elite Challenge. You don't necessarily need to kill this guard but I wanted to do it just for the sake of feeling dominant. He was just standing there asking for it. If I didn't kill him, I would have felt emasculated. Is that weird? Wait for this guard to turn around and return to his post. If he sees you in his cone of vision, the compound will be alerted and you will have a much more difficult time completing the heist. I was not emasculated this time. I can surely feel my dominance growing with every kill. I'm going to skip through this part of the fingerprint scanner, as well. If you want to see how I complete this hack in less than 40 seconds, check out my previous video with a step-by-step -step guide. Now we have access to the pink diamond and we can collect it from El Rubio's vault and make our escape. After I collect the pink diamond, my total should come to 1.7 million dollars. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Is this amateur hour? Now that I have all my loot, I need to make my way out of the compound. I just need to run down these steps, wait for my opportunity when the guard and juggernaut turns away from the staircase, and then hop the railing, turn left, and run for the front gate. This part is when you need to play the patience game. Just follow exactly what I do, and you will be fine. There is a guard coming my way and he is intercepting the front gate. That was a close call. I just need to wait until he walks a little further from the other guard's cones of vision and then I can take him out. Say my name. That's it, we're all good. 
That is the fastest route you can possibly take to complete the elite challenge in solo mode. Now you just need to take out the guard on the bike, steal the bike, and head towards the edge of the cliff where you can simply swim off of the island. I hope you enjoyed this video, and make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more GTA content. Have a great day, and keep on that money grind.